Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I thought I'd go through my, I got a one box. I'll go through the three boxes before, but before we get into the box auctions, I kind of wanted to go over what I sold tonight. And uh, I understand there's a lot of slow eBay, eBay sales for, for majority of people out there. And uh, I wanted to go through what you guys think is happening and kind of what I do using all my liquidation items and eBay and how I kind of go through and kind of uh, adjust some things. So hopefully uh, get some sales. So let's see what we have here tonight. We have uh, Cat's Meow here is here. Adam's here. Uh, Demir I saw. William Gale. Popular picker, four oaks, um, and just kind of come some miscellaneous things. So, I had a question. Do you guys know what this is? It has a lightning cord on the uh, bottom here, and you kind of see here lightning cord, and then that's the adapter. So I don't know if it's a flash drive or what, but um, and the other thing is I don't know if it sells well. So. If you guys know what that is, it came in just an unmarked bag a while ago. <clears throat> Demir might know what that is. Carl Meeks is here, Scott Tucker, Redneck. How's it going, guys? Toggle switch. Yeah, so the I know the Apple ones sell for a ton, but there's no Apple branding on it. So I can't tell. I'm assuming it's Apple. Hey, Monica, what's up? A camera, camera SD card, right? Camera SD card, lightning adapter. So I'll look that up. Now, are the Apple ones branded? I forget if they're branded Apple on the back. I'm not sure. So I'll look that up. Now, unbranded, I might be a couple bucks, but we'll see how that one goes. So... And then I want to get your feedback, too, on what you guys, what everyone else does for uh, when your cells slow down. So what I do is I comb through my listings. I look for the items with the most views on it. And then I'll go through and start tweaking it. And I will go in and I will re-look up the item under solds. So maybe the price decreased. And I'll lower the price to, to mimic what the, uh, the sold items are. And then... Uh, what then I will then do is maybe adjust the price. I'll fix if I didn't add categories. I'll just adjust the listing if I need to take an extra picture or two. But um, de then depending on the profit of the lot, if that lot has made the money that I've, I've gotten off of it, I'll consider lowering it even lower on the price. Or what I will then do is I'll send it to an auction. And I rarely do that. But if I want to get rid of it and clear space and I don't want to keep relisting every month, uh, I'll do that. So, for example, I had a 3D pen that uh, I had up for $79. Now, when I listed it, it was worth $79. So, it was barely used. So, what I would have to do is uh, I lowered it to $39.99, and we'll see if it sells. It was one of the first items I got, probably out of my top five lots I got it. So, uh, usually, I'll, I'll bump the price down. So I will just take the time to go through my listings. So there's kind of one side I'll do. I'll do the electronic cleanup, and then I'll do the space cleanup and item cleanup. So for the actual areas, I will go through. I mean, I'll clean up everything behind me. I'll make sure the low price items, if there's low stuff, I'll get them on uh, Facebook. I'll, then I'll go through and test everything. And I want to clear everything out is what my goal is, organize it. Uh, get everything done, um, but I usually end up buying another box anyway. But I'll do the best I can to clear everything out, test everything. A lot of times, I still have some of these things that I haven't tested yet, and uh, like these headphones, I just have them sitting over here because I know they're lower priced items, and I don't really put that much effort until I need to, like this dog vest here. So I kind of take the time to go through that stuff and get it out of here, so I can build some space. And it kind of brings some uh, clarity to the area. So get everything out of here, clear the inventory, test dead items. I don't know. What do you guys do?
Do you guys go through your listings? Do you guys uh, uh, clean up your spaces? Do you guys buy more product? Destiny just came in. How's it going? So it looks like Adam has to send his Dell laptop in for service. Oh, man. So for the buy it now option, I do uh, 30 days, but I do good until canceled. So I just let it run. And I look at my, my listings every day. I'll go through and I'll sort it by watchers. And if there's no watchers on it, uh, near the bottom of it, I'll see where there's zero watchers, the listings that are going to expire soon. I'll look at those and see if I need to clear them out. I cleared out one today. Broken headphones that I tried to sell that won't sell, so I'm just going to toss them. Scott, sorry to hear that. How's everyone else doing? So, Scott, it doesn't look like you've had any. Uh... Hi, William. What's going on? So, I sold this. This tested. Box is kind of beat up. Sold this for 10 bucks. Not, I mean, not too expensive, but uh, there you go. And then I sold this. This was the big, this was late in the day. So this four pack, I sold for $68.99. Sold that and shipped that out today. So I'll ship those two out. Only two, only two I've had today. The other thing I'm going to do is this Nintendo DS Lite. Crimson does not power on, does not charge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look on eBay. I'm going to buy a new battery for it, and I'm going to try it out. All right, so Demir says, what if I put three days? So you think if I do three-day buy it now or three-day auction? Looks like Monica says she tries to do that every couple months. Uh, Monica takes what doesn't sell and takes it to consignment. That's a good idea. I kind of have, uh, have a death pile that I put on Facebook, and I'll let it sit for a little bit. If it doesn't sell, I will, uh, I'll get rid of it. But Or I'll save it for my garage sale. But I just basically try to clear everything out, and I try to make the listings that have been out there for a while get rid of it. Uh, so it looks like Med City. Yeah, I heard, in, was it Med City or Mid City? Mid City has, is near Minnesota. Someone posted Wisconsin. They were looking for Wisconsin lots. So as you guys go through, feel free to post what else you guys do. I'd like to hear what else, how you guys do that stuff. Just because... I try to keep a process, but a lot of times I get too many lots in and it, it it goes down. So Destiny says she had a motherboard up for sale for parts. Can't get it to test. 13 watchers already lowered at five bucks. Listed 30 plus 15 shipping. Demir, you might not, uh, have some insight onto that. Diesel does a 10 day buy it now auction. After 10 days, what do you do? Do you just let it, do you let it relist or do you get rid of it? Monica, any sales today? So this lot, I'm going to start going through as we go through the chat here. I think this is the one box lot. I believe I paid, I'm checking now. If this is the one I'm thinking is, I paid 286, 286 for this all in. All right, so it's already popped, popped open. So let's see. All right. Auto relist. Yeah, I did the same thing. I love the auto relist. All right, let me get this done here so you can kind of see it open right there. Only got one thing listed, said Monica, but pictures have been taken. Yeah, you do all the pictures first. Monica does uh, good until canceled. No sales, but I set local setup. Nice. All right, so there's no packaging on this one. It's just all the boxes. It looks pretty good. So these are the infamous travel charges you get. I usually just throw these, take the boxes out. I throw them in a box. And I'm trying to sell a bulk of them today. Oh, and I, Jim, I got to get back to Jim if she wanted some. Adam says he didn't know he could do a 10-day buy now. Nice. Redneck had one sale today. Yeah, I saw your video. I got to pop on and watch it. Oh, I've sold one of those MSIs. Yeah, I saw your video popped up just before I was getting ready, but I got to tune in and watch it. 
List 30 days, check the box to auto list for two more months and then sell similar. Keeps the item fresh, yeah. Ooh, Diesel had six VHS sales today, nice. All right, a Belkin charger. Those are hit or miss. Let's see what else. Right, let me move this. Here. The four Oaks had three. So there are there is some activity going on out there. All right, so this item here, this item currently has the most watchers in my lot right now, or just in my store. Demir had one. Cat's Meow had two. Pants in a book. Cat's Meow. Nice. So there you go. This has everything in it. This has, I think, let me check, but this, which is nice, I can just double a quantity. Um, I'll tell you right now what I have it listed for. So I currently have it, I believe, listed for it's probably, I don't know, twenty nine ninety nine. So that's twenty nine ninety nine. I don't know what everyone else thinks of it. It seemed I it seems to have a lot of activity all the time. So I don't know why it's so. Nobody wants it. Oh, Four Oaks just had another sale. Nice. Adam says sell similar on my expireds. Oh yeah, new item ID. <laughs> Redneck won a lot today. Awesome. What was a lot? I'm assuming it's electronics. There was one, if you just bid on it about 8 o'clock, that was against me. Hopefully it wasn't because I bid it up pretty high. But I wanted it, and someone I was high high bidder for a while, and then someone outbid me, and I didn't. It was too high at that point. It was a pet cube. I think I still have it open. I don't have it open. It was a pet cube with a bunch of other uh, clothing items and a germination tube thingy. So I let that one go. It went above my price range. Were these mice? Again, these sell well. Now, I don't know about this specific model, but if it's broken, still list them. And it looks... Feels like it's still in here, but let's take a check. All in for 333. Nice. What was your top item? There you go. It's still in there. Yeah, what was your top item? Just curious if you don't mind sharing. Two sales today and nine yesterday. There you go. I had to do porch pickup today. I couldn't make it to the post office. CPU pins bent. Uh, oh, here we go. So this cord here. Some of these sell. I've never gotten this big one here, I'm assuming. A lot of the little ones sell for about nine, nine, eight bucks. Sony camera lens. Oh, awesome. That's a good find there. All right, I got one of these. I forget who had one of these. Uh, it was Copper 101 had, had one of these, so we'll see if that works. I'm hit or miss on those. High-end microphone cord. I forget why I bought this one. Oh, charging stand. I have one of these, but I can't sell it. That's the only issue. These things I can't get to sell. Joy-Con charging unit. Beats headphones. Uh, I never have luck with Beats. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I can sell broken Beats, but I've never had a good pair that will sell. Sony. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Feels heavy. I'm assuming it's under this white thing. Is the case. And it's not in there. Nope. So I don't know. Let me look at. I don't think they're that high on the list. They're the. They can't be worth more than thirty bucks. I don't know if I'll open a, a dispute. We'll see. I'll check the the manifest, but let me just pull it up now. I have it up. So the beats were not in there.
All right, so I think this is. All right, so this lot. Sorry, I paid two twenty two for this one, so I'm okay. Uh, this was the third highest price item. I don't think they sell for that high, but then again, maybe I will open a uh, a case. We'll see. Depending on the top two items. Put that back in there. All right, we'll try that. Adam bought a new pair of Beats with the threes, with the warranty, yeah. Monica, you still haven't heard anything on the dispute? Uh, the audio cable again. This thing? This one? So, this one is a audio insert snake. There's about, it looks like, it, almost like a composite cable. And, let's see, what's it say? Insert snake, uh, quarter TRS, a quarter TS at 2M. It looks, there's no, nothing looks wrong with it, so. All right. Oh, I got another one of these. And now, we'll see on this, uh, on this lot, what, uh, what they had it listed for. Sensi. Yeah, see, this is lower. <laughs> they priced this one, same unit, they priced this at 27 bucks. So I don't know why there is such a disparity between the two. Scott, okay, yeah, I'll look it up. Uh, another Joy-Con charging unit, charging grip. So we'll check that out. Some ink. And it looks like, so they put the plastic sticker on it. So let's check it. Okay, yeah, Scott, I'll uh, I'll double check to make sure it, it looks okay, and I'll I'll reach out. All right, so let's check this ink. All right, sells the plastic on it. This one does not have the plastic on it, so looks like right. So it looks like someone pulled the plastic off, but otherwise, I'll take a picture of it, maybe list it for, um, so here's your the return slip. Always make sure you pull these out. Destiny has two Xbox charging units, yeah. Scott used to work in broadcast TV, nice. All right, so this tells me the ink's still okay. They listed wrong model on it. Um, so I'll list it as just open box item. I'll take a picture of it open. I'll throw that out. Uh, and I'll get a good, I'll put a good price on it. So that should sell. We'll see. All right. Oh, look at this. This is cool. I might actually use this. Now the, usually the notebook cord sticks in here. So it's just a, a notebook. I'll probably keep that for myself. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I like paper and stuff like that so not paper writing stuff down instead of uh, using the phone to write notes so I'll keep that a snug case and I'm assuming this is a keyboard case this lot does not have the manifest stickers on it diesel's done some pro work and audio nice All right, so this looks, so there you go. Keys are still intact, and I'll just have to make sure it charges and everything works. So if those headphones, if only I can get, you know, 30 bucks, 20 bucks, you think I should file a dispute and just see what I get? I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt, right? Uh, this is a, looks like a case. I don't know what brand, but the back part's busted. So that's busted. <laughs> All right, those look good. But it's open. Monica, are you sick? 
Anyone else getting Facebook notices every 30 seconds? No. Is it notifications? No, I haven't gotten any. All right, someone sent me a message on let go. Let's see if something sold. Oh, a speaking case. I don't know how you say that. Spigen speaking. Uh, looks good. So usually the those are pretty. Those do pretty well. That Facebook keeps telling me of notifications. Someone wants to know if my Nintendo Switch is still up. Yes, it is. One button encrypted dip remote control for a garage door. All right. Those, if, all right, let's check see if that's still in there. Yep. Perfect. That's still in there. And I just dropped the rubber band. Oh, crap. Where'd it go? There it is. Finally stopped. Maybe a glitch. <clears throat> All right. All right, I'll wait for that. Another one of these uh, headrest mounts that never sell. A probably pointless fan for a computer. That probably looks it's about a couple bucks. What is that? Which one? This Xbox thing? It's a stereo headset adapter. That's going to go in the Goodwill box. All right. This. No idea what this is. Anybody have any guesses what this is? It is sealed. Oh, transfer stencil paper sheets. All right, I'm going to keep those. Another case that won't sell for anything. Milprox. I hate getting cases. They never sell. I've had people try to lowball me on my Legos today. I'm holding fast. $75. Yeah, cats me out. You're right. It was paper. All right, so this keyboard looks okay. It's not bent, but I want. I don't know how I would test this keyboard. You can kind of see that there. I mean, other than me saying untested, it looks new. The keys look okay. So I sold one once along the same premise, and it didn't work. I guess the backlight didn't work on the keyboard. Yeah, Destin, or Adam's doing uh, Adam's awesome in the chat. Demir, too. The Lego offer was 60 bucks on the large Batman. Now that's selling for 80 at Target. All right. Oh, so this might tell me what's wrong with the keyboard. This is a keyboard for internal laptop. Yeah. All right. So then I look for these to see if they tell why it's broken. The original keyboard has an LED light on the network key to show that the network card is on and connected. The description showed this number, compatibility, but it's not exact. So I don't know if that would work. All right, so maybe I'll look for the, the comps on that. It looks brand new, so. A lot of times those computer parts, depending on what it is, don't sell for a lot. Self-inking stamp. Says received. Brand new ink stamp. I don't know what I could use a stamp that says received for. Give it to my kids. Oh, look at this. Shaun of the Dead DVD, Blu-ray. So there you go. The case is busted. I can test it, see if it works. It says there's supposed to be three in here. So I have Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. So I'm missing World's End. Try to my forehead. <laughs> 
Great idea. And then I'll forget about it and go to work in the morning. <laughs> That's awesome. Another one of those. Little fans. I'm just going to throw that in my donate box. Oh, what's this? Some random cord. That's got to go up here. Adam says that Demir, darn Demir, I have to get a technical advisor in Chris's group. <laughs> You're our go to IT guy. There you go. Yeah, we need to round them out. Oh, this looks to be like a iPod player, but it's uh, AGP Tech. Let's check this out. Yeah, so it looks like an off brand iPod player. Assuming, is there an on off button? There it is. Screen looks jacked up. All right. Maybe I'll try and charge it and see if that fixes it, but who knows? Most likely not if the LCD is jacked. All right, one of these. I have like 10 of these and they never sell. Never, never sell. I don't know if anyone else gets these pigtail switches, these Fosman. I sold one local for about five bucks. Other than that, no. DGA connector cord. Ooh, another case. And this is probably looks like a Samsung maybe. I hate cases. If you didn't know, I hate cases. Another LiftMaster. Same brand, perfect. I can let's do quantity. Micro retractable USB. Oh, nice. And it's busted because I needed one of these again. But you can get them for about four bucks. All right, let's see. Here's the busted section. And I can open it. So it's like a uh, file folder adapter. And it looks like just the front broke off. So again, there's a lot of electronic slots coming with Office's product, which I'm okay with. But so you see there, the front busts off. So I'll just, I'll end up using the front. I'll put it on my desk. Samsung case. I think it's the same same case. I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, the backing of it. It doesn't tell me what phone it's for on the, the sticker. That was a hassle. They wanted $30 to send a box and expedite repairs. Otherwise, probably take three to four weeks. Probably ship it back Monday. Monica, what's your question? Oh, wait a minute. Found the other DVD. It doesn't look scratched, but it was loose in there. It's my luck, it's shot. Samsung case. If you need a Samsung case, a cat's meow, I have a ton. I can take you a picture and just send you one. Do I like cases? I hate cases. I have a ton of cases. If anyone needs a case, I can mail you one. This is a 360-degree stand for an iPad. So it looks like you put your iPad in it, and you can put it on a desktop or desk and let it sit. Motherboard is bad. Sorry. Oh, no. Monica, I love cases. Didn't you know that? random headphones oh so I did a video of the bonnet last night it works great it works great for small things I tried it on a large thing and it didn't work maybe I need another hand but uh I didn't edit the video yet I used it on a pair of the round the neck headphones it worked great stuff's amazing I'm gonna try to edit it tonight and put it out there <laughs> yeah I get really serious because I get cases all the time Oh, yes, phone. VTech phone. No box, but that's okay because I might have a VTech down here I can use. 
base. Oh, what do you know? There it is. So I can piece out some of my items here and use it for this. So we'll see. We'll see if I need to do that. Perfect. All right. So Alexander said, my last lot, I got eight vinyls. Yeah, vinyls I haven't touched. Copper 101 had an, a lot. Um, there was another guy I was watching that shipped vinyl records. There's this, There's a box they have? You can, there's a special box he used it. Do you have LG case? I'll double check. Chris, tonight you can sell some cases. Yeah. I have boxes full of cases. Oh, whoa, what's that? Another case. But this one's busted. The backing came off. Throw that away. All right. This is a return. So it looks like an LCD. Look at that. That, I wouldn't even begin to know how to, t uh, to test. The plastic is still on the, ooh, as it comes off. Plastic still on it, still over the back pieces. I don't know how, what you guys would do with that. I am going to put that back in here. Back in cardboard. There are great videos. Yeah, I got to look online and see how to ship vinyl. Sounds like a fan on the. Uh, so I don't know how I would get rid of that, even if, if I can know how it works. Yeah, Demir, I'm hoping Demir will tell me how I can. <sighs> These sell for a lot, but you have to test them. Put it on my forehead with the stamp. This is my forehead? No? Um, HGTV antenna, another one. All right, so two of the bigger items are at the bottom. All right, here's one of them. There's two two items left. Forza headphones. Now let's see if these are in here. They look like they're in here. There you go. They claim the retail is, let me double check. P Moda Forza. So they claim these are 100 bucks. Now, again, I'd have to, let me actually look it up. Forza in here. Headphones. So this is. $63.89. So last one sold on the 9th for $63. Brand new pair sold for 170, 89 brand new, brand new 120, pre-owned 75. So these have some life on them. Life or legs or value, whatever you want to call it. They do well. That looked good on me, thanks. I say 15 bucks. All right, so the last thing is this. Now What's good is, has the charger, here we go, and you can probably tell what this is based on the charger, 75, yep, cat's meow, that's right, JBL speaker, now a lot of times, my, I get duds, alright, let's power it on, let's see if it works, sounds like it comes on both ends. So let's pair it real fast. So this is the last item. I'll test it. Uh, let's see. Put it in pairing mode. All right. It's working. And it sounds like it's pretty good. It's lighting on the top. There you go. So there's a charge on it. So you get the lights on the bottom. Power on the top. Uh, up and down, and let's see if it plays in any. Yeah, so this is my high-priced item. That is pretty money. There we 
we go. This works. Doesn't hold a charge, but I'll pile out the what's it called? I'll charge it fully and make sure everything works. And it looks like there's a little I'm gonna say discoloring on it. I don't I don't know if you can see it, but a little discoloring. But otherwise it works great. There we go. All right. So yeah, that's great. That is uh that's that's good. Usually I get those and they don't work. Be trying to what did I miss here? Did everyone hear that speaker said Monica? Said 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 Monica? Yeah, yeah. Shield. Oh, okay. How do you test those? The NVIDIA Shields version one. Yeah, Adam, it worked. I was surprised. Yeah, a lot of times I I uh I want to keep this stuff. Chris received an offer on the Blue Parrot headset, 115 bucks. I will hold on to it until tomorrow. Maybe some more offer more. Yeah, so that's my. So would you list it for the Blue Parrot? If it's a high priced item, I'll let the the best offer sit for maybe a day, and then uh, if the best offer, if I really want to get rid of it and it's close to my asking price. Let's say your asking was 120, I then probably would take it. But if your asking was 150 and they offered 115, I would, uh, oh, 130? Oh, so you're close. It's up to you. Yeah, maybe let it sit a day and see what, see if someone else buys it outright. So that's amazing. Yeah, those things sell like crazy. And that's awesome. I'm glad that that worked out for you. I'm still trying to get my little one fixed, so we'll see how that works. So if you guys like the video, hopefully I'm helping you guys out. Hit the like button down below. Um, comment, subscribe. Drawing will be this Saturday, so stay tuned. I've only got, so I only have a couple people in for the drawing. That's, I think I have like five people that have commented since last Wednesday. So shoot a comment out there and I'll add you to the drawing. And get on the, the liquidation. Uh, Monica sent the Bose speaker. Nice. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, if you don't have a username for liquidation.com, hit the link down below. Send me the username if you win. Chris Morrow, you've got me really interested in liquidation now. Pro great. That's what I'm like. I'm hoping to. We can get you. Uh, we can uh, get you buying some liquidation. We have a ton of people here helping each other out, which is awesome. So I'm glad that, you know, we have all these knowledgeable people in here that helps each other out. Chris, maybe you might win the uh, the discount code. Get you started. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go ship these two items. I'm going to edit that Bondic video for you guys to see. It's probably only going to be a couple minutes, but it really shows it's worth its weight in gold. If anything, I'll... I'll fix stuff to keep for myself, but um, yeah. So, what else, do you guys? Have any other questions? Any other things you want to share? Um, and a lot of these things, which are nice, is I already have listings for. I'll just uh, sell similar and take different pictures. So, I sold one of these the other day for about twenty-five dollars. Yeah, I think I got a Bose. I have I got a JBL replaced, which was nice. Um, but what I will do tomorrow? Is that for the win. Yeah. So uh, if you guys have channels, I know it's most of you are pretty regular in here, but make sure you subscribe. Redneck Hustler has a channel. Keeping it real, real with the Millers goes live during the day a lot. She comes on the channel. Subscribe. No, Stephen Steph did not buy a lot yet, unfortunately. Um, we're going to have Roland Picker on Saturday. We're going to have him on show his lot. Uh, what percentage of lots? So Chris, this is my, I think 96th lot I've purchased from liquidation. Sell lots, which is my first one from them. So I would say I'm probably profitable on 90, 
8%, 97% if I had to guess. But that's without me looking at it. So, and if I'm not profitable, let's say I was profitable in this lot, I'm profitable on enough that would cover my loss easily. Yeah, uh, keep it rolling, Picker. Him and I think his son-in-law will be on. So, yeah, Chris, if you have more questions, reach, reach out to any of us in the chat. Send us messages. Send me a message. Reach out on Facebook. We have a group. Join the PS101 group. There's a lot of work in there. A lot that I got four years ago. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Guys and girls, thanks for joining. Uh, I'll have some updates for you tomorrow. I'm going to try and get that video out tonight. We'll, we'll talk tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Get in the, the comment to get in the discount code for Saturday. If you purchased a lot, shoot an invoice over, and I'll get you in the drawing for the $25 gift card. Yeah, Monica, I'll come over and watch you Friday, no doubt. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll talk tomorrow. And thanks again for joining. I appreciate everyone coming. It wouldn't be the same without you guys. So, talk to you later.